Massasoit Community College in Broughton is known as a good school that attracts a diverse student body of all ages, often people who are still working and trying to further their education at the same time. Two students were interviewed on Thursday about their reasons for choosing Massasoit and their experiences at the school. My name is Shadi Al-Hindi. And when did you start taking classes here at Massasoit? I started taking classes about three semesters ago, which is a year and a half ago, exactly. And where, where did you come from originally? I originally come from the Philippines, but I spent some time in Hawaii and surrounding countries. I am uh, currently a professional hip-hop choreographer, dancer, and entertainer for entertainment company in Boston. I am also working for uh, as a volunteer coordinator for a high school program that Brockton and Massas Brockton High School and Massasoit is currently running together. It's called MIA. And when you were looking to further your education, did you look around at private schools? I yes, I did. I um, scouted a few of the UMass some um, campuses around you know the state and possibly some out of state schools, but. When I visited Massasoit, I looked around the campus, saw the student to teacher ratio, and after interviewing some of the professors, I kind of thought this would be a good start first to get used to the whole college lifestyle. And what do you hope to do with the education that you get here? Hmm. Currently, right now, I'm involved in a lot of volunteer activities for the school, but as of right now, I'm taking a lot of science courses that might help me in my health science major, which I'm thinking of doing in the future. Personal training, sports therapy, all that good stuff. I love the student-run organizations. Um, a lot of clubs in the school help students get used to it, even um, the veteran students or the first-time students. We have a very good multinational department in which we help transfer students, which there is a lot in Massasoit. We help them get acclimated, get to know the environment, and provide them assistance in the different things that they need. And also, it's very... I love the fact that everybody is so just... It's easy to get acclimated. It's easy to get to know one each other. Yet there's also that same pervading sense of this is a place of education and a place of acceptance for the very racially diverse population of the school. Extremely affordable. I mean, a lot of the courses that I'm going to take in, let's say, UMass Boston has is the same courses here, but way more expensive with teachers that have the same background education-wise. They have the same bachelor degree. But in here, I can get this done, get the same level of education, and get there, and spend less money because I knew that they got the same level of education in here. Uh, a lot of the professors here go the extra mile for the students. They're, they're here for the students and because it's such a concentrated campus, the uh, professors and the student uh, have a good rapport with one another. When you first started looking at college, thinking, well, maybe I need a college education, did you, did you consider any private schools or did the cost surprise you or how did you find out about the kind of those realities? Uh, through online research, I was actually looking to go into a art or a music school for a while, and they're almost some of them are almost impossible to get into. So I figure, you know, I'll just do an academic um, based learning, so I can somehow transfer, find what I want. Because a lot of the uh, like a school like Mass Arts, ridiculously expensive, and Berkeley, uh, the College of Music in Boston, is very expensive also. And here, what are you majoring in? Uh, right now, I'm just majoring in liberal arts studies, but I'm concentrating in English. And what do you maybe see yourself doing at the end of the, the two years here that you're talking about? At uh, the end of the two years here, well, I'll have my associate's degree, and I'll probably hopefully have a scholarship to get to a four-year school somewhere. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger and Gatehouse Media New England. For more coverage, see today's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to patriotledger.com.